So I went and did research myself in America on the foundations of quantum mechanics. Uh, but actually, I found that that aspect of research was a little bit too removed from the realities of getting on with stuff. And one of the things I noticed while I was in America was that there were just not enough women in physics. And so I sort of decided that actually perhaps I would be better suited to more communicating with people about physics and getting more different types of people into physics. And so I became a teacher. Uh, which actually is the best job. And so I've taught all my life, but alongside my teaching, I've also done genuine research projects with my students. Um, we put a payload on a satellite in space. We work a lot with CERN. I uh, work a lot with NASA analyzing data on radiation from the International Space Station. And, you know, my world of physics is now really amazing with my students and I have the added excitement of you know giving opportunities for young people to really flourish showing what they can contribute to science and now having set up the Institute for Research in schools they're contributing to science across the sciences and in engineering so I probably am a uh, jack of all trades and not much of a master of one, but I'm really passionate about making science relevant to people by showing them how much there is for them to genuinely contribute. And I'm sure that there, my gut feeling is I'm sure there would be better engagement across the sciences with everybody if people realised how much they themselves are part of the scientific world and how much they have to offer so that it's not sort of removed from them. Uh, as one of my students who also went to LIYSF, Anna Starkey, she always says science should be a verb and not a noun, that you should be doing it and that applies to young people in particular.